In this video, we're going to take a look at how to map an existing crawled property with a new managed property. Now, I'm going to start out here in Microsoft Word so we can take a look at something. On the File tab, Info, Properties, Advanced Properties, Custom. You'll see there's a whole bunch of properties here. And if any of these have been set in a Word document, they will be picked up by SharePoint Search when you do a crawl and they will become crawled properties. Now, let's say, for example, in my company, we use department, and we have a standard that says whenever you create a document, whether it's Word or Excel or PowerPoint or whatever, you set the department property. So you type in a value here, and then you save the document to SharePoint Server. Department then becomes a crawled property when you do a crawl. But how do you search on a specific department when you do a search? So let's take a look at how that works. Now I'll cancel out of here, and I'll switch over to my SharePoint server computer. And under Application Management, I'll go to Manage Service Applications, click on my Search Service Application, and then go over here to Metadata Properties. And what we're looking for is the crawled property called Department. So I'll just search on it, and you'll see we have a crawled property called department. We also have OWS department, which is a SharePoint property, and people department, which is a people property. But it's this top one, department text, that is the crawled property that's associated with Office documents such as Word and Excel. Now you'll see it's currently not mapped to anything, so we can't search on it directly. And what we need to do is to create a managed property and map it to this crawled property so that we can search on department. So let's go back to Managed Properties. And if I scroll down, you'll see that we already have a managed property called department. And it is already mapped to the other two crawled properties that we were just looking at. But it is not mapped to the Office Department crawled property. Now we can add that mapping here if we want to, and then we would be able to search directly on department. But let's say we want to separate this out into a different type of department search. If I go up to New Managed Property, I'll call it Litware Department. It is a text value. The default here is to include values from all crawled properties mapped. Now in this case we're only mapping one, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to click Add Mapping. Type my crawled property name, which is department. And of course, it's this top one that we want. Click OK. Click OK again. And our new managed property litware department, which is probably on our second page of properties, is right here. And you can see that it is mapped to department. Now, if I do a crawl, when the crawl is complete, we should be able to search on Litware Department. Okay, my crawl is complete, so let's go to the Search Center and try a search. Our new managed property is Litware Department, and I'll search for Engineering. And you can see I have a bunch of documents here where Department is set to Engineering. And we found that crawled property by searching using the managed property that it's mapped to. Now let's try one more query. If I change engineering to marketing, you can see in this case I have no search results. And the reason for that is that there's a little bit of a disparity within my company. Some groups, such as engineering, use the department property, and other groups, such as marketing, use the division property but they're basically identifying the same thing. And what I want to do in this case is to have my managed property of Litware Department bring up results for both. Now, if I switch back to my list of metadata properties, and I go up to Crawled Properties, and this time I'll search on Division, you'll see here is Division, and it's not mapped to anything. Now, there are two ways to map this. I can go back and find my Litware Department Managed Property and edit that 
and add the division mapping, or I can do that right here from the division crawled property. I'll click Edit Map Property, and then I'll just add a mapping to Litware Department. Click OK. And then again, because I've made a change, I need to go ahead and do another crawl. Now my crawl is complete. So let's go back to the search center and we'll try the Litware Department marketing search one more time. And you can see now we've got a list of documents. So Litware Department is picking up both the department and division crawled properties in our searches. Now if I switch back to my crawled properties list and we'll go to Manage properties, you'll recall there was this department managed property that was here by default. Now I can click, you recall it was mapped to People Department and OWS Department. I can also add the department and division crawled properties here as well. Click OK, and of course, do another crawl. The crawl is done. If I switch over to the Search Center, I should be able to now change Litware Department to just Department, which is the original default managed property. And if I now search, I get exactly the same results. And of course, Department is also mapped to a couple of other crawled properties, so if there were results associated with those, they would appear here as well. In this case, there are not. So to recap what we've looked at, you can create a new managed property and map it to any crawled properties that you want to in order to be able to do explicit searches on them. You can map crawled properties to existing managed properties, and you can map them in one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationships. You can also configure the mapping in two different ways. You can edit the managed property and map it to a crawled property, or you can edit the crawled property and map it back to the managed property. So that's a quick look at how the mappings between managed properties and crawled properties work in SharePoint Search. You can leave feedback on this video or any of our TechNet content by going to the TechNet article and clicking the rating and feedback control at the top of the page. Or you can send feedback to searchdx at microsoft.com.